Okay, I've got a funny story. It may not be funny, but it is kind of funny to me. I had a screw in one of my tires, and I took it to the tire place, America's Tire, and uh, they were pretty sure it wasn't going to be repairable. So they looked at it, and the screw was right about there on the tire. And it, was, uh, it wasn't on the tread. It was actually right in that in-between there. But it was on that, like, edge so they said it probably wouldn't be repairable now these tires were pretty good condition i mean this is about what the condition of the tires um, are so these are really good and these are open country uh, toyo at extreme tires um, 35 inch tall or a little over um, so these are 295s um, and i basically 20 inch wheel. I basically um, was at a loss because he said that they were going to have to put a new tire on. And I said, well, okay, how much is a new tire? And it's going to be out the door about $500 with tax, everything. And I said, all right, that's, that's so much money. All right. But he said, well, we can't find them. So you're going to be pretty much without a tire for at least a couple weeks, probably. So he showed me the computer screen and basically we had, you know, they just had no stock. He called Toyo and they said that they uh, did not have any, um, that they were going to be able to send them. So um, they were pretty much telling me these tires are going to be real tough to find. So I said, all right, um, we'll do what we can do. So I left there thinking they were going to take a look, try to find one and we'll see what happens. So I go on Craigslist, right? Of course, what do you expect? I'm going to go on Craigslist. Uh, in fact, that's where I bought the ones that were on my truck. I bought them on Craigslist. I found it about an hour away. Some guy was selling them and I got a great deal on them. Again, um, Craigslist came to the rescue. Well, what do you know? I find these tires in San Diego, which is about two and a half hours away from me. And it said 75% uh, tread left and uh, the price had said $600 for them, all four of them, e exact same size. Now remember, I only need one, but um, you know, the, for the price of one, I'm getting four um, slightly used ones. And so I'm like, all right, awesome. So I called the guy and I said, Hey, you know what? I got to drive quite a ways. That's about, you know, a five and a half hour round trip. And I said, Hey, you know, would you take 450 for him? And he said, no, but tell you what, I'll do 470. And I said, all right, sold. I'll go down there. So I busted down there, took two and a half hours to get there. And, uh, you know, it was phenomenal. I mean, the guy was great. Here they are. Um, he met me in a um, parking lot of a business with these in the back of his truck. So it worked really well. I picked them up, drove back home. And then a few days later, I went to America's tire to have them mount um, one of the tires and I met the guy at the at the front right because they're doing everything outdoors and I said hey I've got this tire in the back of my truck with my rim I need for you guys to mount it mount it and balance it and um, put the spare that's on there underneath my truck and they said um, he said okay so I gave him my key took off it was gonna take two hours and then came back a couple hours later and my truck, the, tuck, the tire was all on the truck. Everything looked great. I went in to pay and the guy's like, all right, it's going to be $495 and something cents. And I said, wait a second for, for mounting my, my own tire. And he's like, no, we put the new tire on. And I said, why would you put a new tire on? I didn't ask for a new tire. And he said, well, um, I don't know. That's just what they did. And I said, okay, well, well, we got a problem because I have the tire in my truck. And that's the tire that I want you to put on, not, not any kind of a new tire. I didn't authorize that or, you know, I didn't tell you guys to do that. So they, um, the guy that uh, helped me, he was very rude. And uh, he started telling his coworkers to, um, to uh, take my truck and um, take off the wheel and, you know, do whatever. But he had a major bad attitude and he stormed past me, brushed my shoulder, and I basically was like, wait a second, this guy's, a, this guy's an employee. I've never had this experience at America's Tire 
They're really good to work with. And this guy I've never seen before, and he just had a major attitude. So um, I go outside just to check my truck and see what's happening with it. And lo and behold, this guy is telling everybody that I was, you know, I dropped my truck off. I didn't give any instructions. I didn't do anything that would, um, you know, basically tell them what to do. However, what's interesting is that I saw the slip and it was highlighted on there. Take the customer's tire out of the truck and the rim and put them, you know, put the tire on the rim. It was highlighted on the instruction sheet. And I thought that was really interesting. I actually saw that and I thought to myself, how could they possibly be saying that I didn't tell them? Well, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, so this guy um, kind of gets in my face a little bit and I said, are you willing to, to lose your job over this? Like, this is crazy that you're acting this way. And the manager overheard, there's like 15, 20 guys working and everybody's trying to calm this guy down. And um, who had nothing, he had nothing to do with this whole thing. He, he wasn't involved in any way. So um, except for being the guy at the counter when I went the second time to pick it up. And um, he had this major attitude. Anyways, um, the manager or the assistant manager, one of the guys, it didn't, um, they had his name tag, but it didn't say manager or anything on it. But I think he is at least an assistant manager. He came over and he's like, sir, I, I apologize. I cannot believe that my employee is, is talking to you this way. And uh, we are so sorry that this happened. I can't even imagine what just happened. But um, we're going to go ahead and just say, keep the tire that's on your truck, the new one, free of charge. We're not going to charge you for anything. Just take it. And please, you know, we don't want to lose your business. So I said, look, I, I appreciate you wanting to help. And I really appreciate your customer service skills. But that's, you know, I don't want to be like acting like, yeah, I want you to give me the tire because this guy's a turd. Um, but he said, no, 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 he, trust me. This, you're, you're getting the tire. I don't even care. And I'm going to give you your other one back as well. So now that you, you can have that one too, I don't care. I just want you to be happy. And please come back to us. Um, we really value your business. And I said, all right, you guys got to teach that guy some, some uh, customer service skills um, like you guys have because that's the way you're supposed to do business. No, I mean, you don't have to give people things, but just understand where customers are coming from. And in some cases, the customers are right. And um, some cases they're not, but you know what? You do, have, you do have to kind of think about that when you're doing this kind of work, especially when it's written up in the, um, the instructions very clearly and it was highlighted. So I don't know what happened, but all I know is I have a brand new tire on my truck and it actually is funny because it makes these tires look old, but um, you know, cause it's got more tread on, on them. And I originally didn't want a new tire uh, for the cost, but also for the fact that it's just one tire versus, you know, I don't know if it's going to throw my balance off or alignment or something um, cause it's a little thicker tread. But in any case, um, so now I've got these four, what am I going to do with my four tires that I don't want to sell? I don't want to get rid of them. I could definitely get rid of these uh, in a New York minute and not have any problem making all my money up and then some, I'm sure. These tires are a hot commodity right now. So, um, and 2000 bucks for a set of four new, you know, come on. Um, but I thought, wait a second, I've got my trailer. You know, I've got some other stuff in there, but these will fit. So I'm going to take these to my trailer. They're going to be out of the, the sun. They're going to be out of the, um, you know, the elements. And they'll be out of the shop, <laughs> most importantly. So I'm going to put these in the ba um, back of my truck and uh, take these to uh, my trailer and store them. And when and if I have a flat, I'll have these, um, these guys to change. Or I can just change them out when my other ones get bald um, because I love these tires and you know these are actually really good in the snow too so if you take your truck to the snow um, they do pretty well all right so just wanted to tell you it's not a tool haul it's a tire haul from Craigslist again and um, I tell you man Craigslist what are you gonna do so, hey thanks for watching guys I appreciate it and um, we'll, um, we'll see you on the next video